Hello, welcome back to my channel, guys. It's been a while since I uploaded, and I'm just trying to sort things out with my channel. So, at most, um, I will probably upload within about twice a week. But if I'm like too preoccupied, or just need some time to relax, time to myself, I probably just post once a week. So I just want you guys that you guys know that because in during this pandemic, whether we fear it or not, we tend to get stressed because of the situation. We just like really we really want things to go back to normal in a way. This a mental thing. So enough of that. Um what I'm going to do today is talk about my favorite thing anime manga so it's there's so many mangas so many anime coming out recently and the thing is I want to talk about my personal favorite that I wish to recommend to you guys if you guys are interested in it but I'm just going to put it into a bit of a category, I guess you could say. Some of them you might heard of it, some of them you might not. So, I'm into some, I'm into anime that has a good genre, good storyline, good character development at most. So, I'm going to start out with the genre shonen, which is Basically, manga for target at boys. That's what shonen is in Japanese. Boys. So, yes, I'm a female. I do like shoujo sometimes, but I tend to lean towards more of the shonen. So, I'm just going to move the whole Naruto, One Piece, Reach aside, even Dragon Balls because those are just mainstream. So I'm just gonna go ahead and list the ones I could think of at the top of my head that I feel that is a bit sci fi but a bit shonen. Um, so my top favorite shonen manga would undoubtedly be. Kaido Kyo Hit Memory Boy. First things first, I want you to point out before you dismiss this awesome manga or anime, I know that when you first started reading it or watching it, you were put off by the, you know, the comedy. You, yes, comedy is part of the shonen, but the thing is, you put, you put off by the slow pace of the comedy. But the thing is, what I realized is that in the beginning, the manga was just like introducing you to the characters slowly, getting you to adjust to the characters. And then by the time you get to for the anime, about episode 19 or 20, you get to the serious stuff, which would be the first arc. Um, so at most, if I remember correctly, there are three major arcs in Hitman and Boy. First one, this would be a spoiler, is um, Suna Yoshi Sarada, which is the main character, will gain a new power. New enemy, of course. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And then there's more, get more in depth of the whole storyline, the background, and the whole everything is put together in a way that makes sense slowly in the second arc and when you get to the third arc this is a warning to everyone that enjoy the comedy that you get before the third arc because once the third arc starts it will start until the anime finish so you will not get that much comedy as you once got used to. So 
it would be a major one. It'd be a long one. So I just want you guys to be aware of that. But overall, I love the character development that is in the story. Um, especially the main character, who pretty much like all shonen characters, like a weak, hapless, young male, and it slowly adjust and find himself, improve himself as a person, personality wise, everything as well. So, I just love the character development, not just for the main character, but also the side characters as well. So that is my main, my favorite one. Moving on to my other favorite is, uh, this one is actually a sports manga or anime. Um, there's so many. I could just list them all, but I would uh, mention my top three uh, favorite sports manga. So the first one I remember watching would be Prince of Tennis. And for all of those who love Prince of Tennis, yes, it is awesome, it is funny. If you like tennis, this is uh, the manga for you. It's really good. Um, the second one that I came across that I love a lot was I Shield 21. I love the comedy. I love the character development. I just love how things gradually change to something more intense but it's like still comedy but it's just so awesome in terms of, of a sports manga and if, it, if you are interested in American football I Show 21 is the manga for you there are some mangas sports manga for female as well I think remember is Crimson Hero or you got game or something those by Tokyo Pop those are really major classic ones back then those are really good as well for those of you who are interested in the shoujo version of it um, my third favorite sports manga that is shown in is Kuroko no Basket yes I just love the comedy in it the characters and everything if I have to choose my favorite character in that series would be Kuroko himself and also um, Akashi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so th let's move on to the next one. Um, since I always talk about the shonen ones uh, that I like. So I'm going to move on to the ones that in terms of anime that are kind of people are not never notice uh i do like a lot which is chrome shelled videos it's sci-fi a bit sci-fi and also is has a lot of actions there are some comedy but the majority is actions which you fight this mutated insect monsters the main character it was just so good. I was in awe by that anime. I would say give it a try if you like it. Uh, so yeah, that is one of them. Um, let's move on to a different genre. I'm going to move on to vampire specifically genre. Um, so there's a, quite a few vampire related manga out there and I think majority knows of uh, Housing that is the, the, the top one that everyone knows of which is the classic one um, but for me I personally like a bit of a the manga has more art style to it I guess you could say I guess I have a preference basically. Um, but I also like the storyline. Like I said, I'm more into the storyline as well and how the vampires are being portrayed. And what I love is a manga like Vampire Night, which is a classic, another classic one. Um, how they describe the vampires, the system, and everything. I absolutely love that you know, scenario of it. 
another one that I do enjoy, I do have the mango for it, is called uh, The Fallen Vampire. If you know, if you ever read or watch the anime Spiral, uh, then you probably like this book because it's the same artist who did Spiral. This is The Fallen Vampire. The Record of the Fallen Vampire. Basically, a vampire king, a thousand years. So there'll be something like, um, I guess, a bit cliche, I guess you could say. Um, there's a vampire king, which everyone's after, like drag, uh, drag vampire, like half vampire, half human. Basically, um, so there's the vampire king, and there's the black swan, which literally is almost like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You know, the whole scenario of one girl. No. But in this case, it's similar, but the girl, the black swan, is always a female, always. She is the only one who could take down the Vampire King, which is Akabala Strauss. That is the so the main character of the story would be Akabala Strauss and the Black Swan. And at most, uh, each time the Black Swan was killed, they it's like a parasite that just grows into another Black Swan, reincarnated or incarnation. Um, so they get stronger each time with the memory of the previous Black Swan in order to defeat Akabala Strauss. So this is a really good one and there's a bit of a scientific element to how Vampire be came to be in the very end. I do recommend reading this one. I was in awe. I was in love with this storyline. It was just a really good book. The character development and everything in terms of vampire stories. So yeah, I do recommend this this book. Um, there are some other manga or anime that has vampire in it. Like for example, um, Subasa Chronicles in Tokyo Revelation series, where the Kamishiro um. Subaru is the vampire, the vampire trains in Subasa Chronicles compared to the S1999. So there's that. Um, I do like it a lot as well. Um, another one I love about in terms of vampire theme, this manga is, I think it's Manwa, Korean manga or it's Chinese manga. It's called The Vampire Sphere which I love a lot. I love the art. I love the storyline. Overall, it's brilliant, really good. I do recommend you give that one a try. Um, but yeah, this is like um, a change of, uh, I guess, scenery, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's move on to shoujo. I have quite a few of shoujo mangas that I like but if I had to say that my favorite because it was like the first manga I read like that got me into manga would be Fruits Basket I do like that one a lot if you know Fruits Basket and have read the manga you know what I mean it's the classic of the classic to me um we also have the An Angel. I consider that one a shoujo because the the art style, I guess. But I guess it could be shonen, but it's more shoujo to me. Um, other shoujo aside from Vampire Night is Kamisama Kiss, which is a human becoming a human god for this shrine. She ends up having a fox familiar. But the fox is actually was once a yokai. So it's really good story development. And I love it a lot. I love the funny scenes. I love it's just so good. 
Um, aside from that, um, there were quite a few others that I do enjoy. Um, if you know SA, um, I do like the person who did SA, which is voiceover. I find it really funny, really good. Um, there's also, what else? Um, there's so many mangas to be fair. There's so many I could. Of course, I've almost forgot about this one. Um, Pandora Horse is really good, but it, especially the art, the story is so twisted, so good. I just had to recommend that one. Uh, but yeah, if you want to go for something uh, different, I guess you can skip that one if you want. Anyways, let's move on to other genres. Um, ones that I would like to mention is probably everyone has heard of it, Psychopaths, uh, which is really good anime. I love how it's twisted, how it's, psych it's psychologically twisted, like thrillers, and I also enjoyed the fact that the art style is similar to, I think it's the same art style artists who did uh, Cut the Kid Hit Me Re Reborn so I just love that a lot um oh I know I can I think this is good enough in terms of manga um also another honorable mention in terms of shonen is Hunter s Hunter that was is, is a good one um So yeah, um, I don't, I won't say much about the current animes, in t but I guess I could say Food Wars is not too bad because it's pretty good. And recently I've been into this um, anime and manga called Iluma Maimashita, or Iluma Kun Maimashita, whatever it is. That one is really good. I love the opening. I love the character development. That one I do recommend, especially I'm currently still reading the manga, so I give props to the person who made that manga. Um, I won't say, I do say Fairy Tales is also a good one, but that's kind of mainstream as well. <laughs> so yeah, this is all the mangas and anime I wish to recommend if you are interested in it. Uh, if you are uh, do enjoy, um, I see you guys next time. Just be safe, stay stay safe, stay healthy, and yeah, subscribe to my channel if you like what I recommend. If you agree, comment down below, or if you could recommend some manga or anime I never heard of, comment down below. Let me know. I'd be glad to listen to what you recommend. Anyway, so I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.